Hi guys, Mike Martin here. Right, so I was talking with one of my best friends the other day um, who uses Lead Simplify. And he basically turned around and said to me, okay, Mike, I've got like 30 or 40 rank and rent sites here. How the F word do I set them up with Lead Simplify? And I said, well, and I started talking about the hybrid lead generation business model. And he basically said to me, I don't give a shit about your model. He says, I've got these guys who buy this off me and all I want to know is exactly how to set up the system so I can transfer the forms to these guys and I can transfer the calls to these guys and nothing else, not interested in nothing else that you're talking about. So I was like, okay, thank you for saying it that way. Turns out quite a few customers have got the same setup. They just want to sell rank and rent. They're currently paying $97 a month with some other call tracking software and didn't realize that you can actually use Lead Simplify, okay, for unlimited rank and rent websites with both phone numbers and with forms for the for the minimum package, the completely minimum package, right? So let's go inside the system and let's have a quick look at it. So the first thing you need to do is go to preferences. Okay, you don't need to change any of the other stuff inside the system, none of it even matters, right? Preferences, industries and niches, and create a new industry. That's it, you have to create one industry, just need one industry. Doesn't matter what you, what, what you call it, doesn't matter. If you're only using this for rank and rent, doesn't matter. So you can call it rubbish industry. Yep, none of this other shit matters. Ignore it all, just click save. Okay, none of these guys are going to log into your system because there are rank and rent guys, so it doesn't matter. So you need one industry. The second thing you need to do is go into your API settings. It'll be a little bit blurred when you're looking at this now, but the top three, the top, sorry, the second from the top and third from the top are important, right? The third one down is a Twilio phone number that is SMS enabled, okay? SMS enabled Twilio phone number, which means it can send the text out for your systems. So you go into your Twilio account, onto your Twilio dashboard, and on the right hand side over here, you're gonna see account SID and authorization token. Click the view button. And when that pops up, you wanna copy and paste those two. Okay, so the count SID goes into the top one. The authorization token goes into the, the, the bottom one. So the third one down. And then you buy a phone number in Twilio. I'm not sure how to buy a phone number. That's SMS enabled and paste it in here with your country code. Click save and that is it. All that stuff is done, right? Now you're ready to, to, to use unlimited phone numbers from outside of your Twilio account into this system for as many people as you want, as many phone numbers. Right, so step number one, how to set up a phone number. Let's just trash this, right? I'm gonna do this so you know the basics, the understandings. I'm not gonna give you all the bells and the whistles and the fluff and all the crap that, 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 that my friend wasn't interested in, so I'm not gonna tell you about it today. So you come down here, so you click on call center, you scroll to the bottom, and you, I don't know, let's, let's say this guy, this is, this is, this is R&R, &R, rank and rent one, yeah? Whatever you wanna call him, it could be Brian from somewhere, right? Go in here and select the number you're going to give to rank and rent one. Right, do you want to record the calls? Totally up to you. Do you want to pass caller ID? Completely up to you, yes or no, right? All this is irrelevant. So the only thing we'd have is one industry that we just set up a minute ago, which was rubbish industry, right? And nothing else matters. If you want to track the lead source, create a lead source here, okay? Other than that, you don't need any of it, none of it. You just click next. Okay, you can ignore absolutely everything on there. We're not passing caller ID on, by the way, which means they have to ask for the caller's number, which is good for scheduling. Or if you switch that on, it'll pass caller ID. But I'm not gonna go into that, right? The only thing you want now is the second one down here. Forward calls to single more multiple numbers. Right, so this first one, now let's say um, this guy works from five, sorry, 9 a.m., 5 p.m., yeah, Monday to Friday. This guy's gonna answer the calls. If he starts being crap at answering the calls and he doesn't answer the calls when he, like he's supposed to, so he's R and R1, you can have a backup dude that you sell the calls to as well. These two will ring simultaneously then, right? What's this, so now you've got two people receiving the calls, okay? And he can be R and R2. This is for one number straight away, all right? Then you say you want to sell the calls on a weekend, you do this, get rid of these. This is all from the same phone number, all right? So you can you can have multiple distribution setups. So you get somebody who does the calls 24 hours a day at weekend, then obviously you want to sell the calls on an evening as well. So you can do it from five until midnight and from midnight until 9 a.m. in the morning. And you just run through these. You can have as many of these as you want on here and you can distribute it to as many phone numbers as you want and they can all ring simultaneously or however you want, right? 
You know the cool feature is like this, you can have call announcements, you click that, put your phone number in, send you set, set up a call announcement, set up a call whisperer, click save, done, right, so there's your first number set up, so say you wanted another person on, right, so the second one, you just go into the call centre, yeah, scroll down to the bottom, we've got one set up there for this guy, rubbish industry, right, so add new, same situation, select one of your phone numbers, call this r and r2 or whatever the name of their website is or whatever it is you're using set whether you want to record the calls set whether you want to pass a caller id click save i need to select a phone number click save um i don't know if any of these are in you no these are not used for anything right and then click next okay and then you're going to select the top one and set up the call schedule who it's going to call how many different numbers it's going to call it's just going to one person it's going to one if you get it one it's going to 10 different people at all different times and dates you set it all up in here it just does every, everything's done right save all right that's going to now ring zero numbers 24 hours a day okay next step leads going to lead going to farm builder right so we're going to do this let's say see this top this top one here all right we've created a plumbing farm here right so you create one plumbing farm all right, and then we go back to the farm builder and say, right, so we want the first plumbing farm. We're going to click duplicate. Okay. It's going to take me through to this Stephen the plumber, and this could be R and R1. Yeah. And the industry, going to go into rubbish industry, which we're going to make hidden so no one's going to see it. Lead source, whatever you want their site to be or whatever you want it to be. Right. That's about all you need to do on here. Right. And then you've got the form. Okay, and then and then you just literally go to this little bit up here and paste in the phone number of R and R one. R and R one at gmail.com. Right? So now send an email of this um of this address after a, to this address to this email address after a form has been submitted containing the full content of the submitted form. So what's gonna happen is Every single form that gets submitted via this form is going to go to r and r one at gmail.com. Done. Right? So we can save that now. And, and we get on the r and r 2 guy cell, so, right? So you paste this code into your website. And it'll always, the leads will come into your system so you can track everything, as well as the calls and the recordings and everything else will come into your system. But not only that, it's going to send the email straight to the right customer. And in addition to that, it's also going to... Send the call to the right person. So the second one of these guys decides they're not going to pay you, you go inside their form. Um, we've got quite a lot of forms on here, haven't we? Right, so you go inside their form. One of these guys is not going to pay you. Whoa. I can't remember what we just called it. I thought, I thought we called it R&R, &R, didn't we? Right, you, see, you can set up this many forms on this many sites as well. You don't need to... You don't need to... Yeah, you know what? We can just do that, can't we? Martin will be screaming at the screen like, hey, learn how to use the system. Right, so you go into here, and this guy's not paid his bill. So the first thing you do is click edit, go over to this, delete his email out of there, click save, and he won't receive the emails no more, but you'll still be able to see what emails are coming in. Right, and then you go over to the um, call center. Okay, and you click on, you go down to, I don't know, let's say R&R1 &R wasn't paying his bill. You go in here, you don't need to delete his number and all his setup. You just go in here and delete his phone number out of there. And then click save. And he's, he's no longer getting calls off you. Then as soon as he pays his bill, you go back into here. Okay, very, very simple. Here. Add his number in again. And click save. And go back over to the form. Go back into the forms. And put his email back in here. Right there, back in here right um yeah there top one r and r one at gmail.com but guys the system right out of the box this is completely unlimited you can have 500 different websites with 500 different numbers and 500 different forms so now let's say we're at a situation where we've got a second rank of rent guys come in well like, okay well we just go up and duplicate this this form and we put it on rank and rent guy 2's website but the only thing we need to change maybe is lead source so you can keep track of where it's coming from, that it's on his website, so you know it's his. R and R one copy, let's change that to R and R two. Go into here, put R and R two at gmail.com, and he receives all the leads that come through this site. Same breathing, you know, you've got two rank and rank guys set up, because we've just set up two rank and rank guys. You can do this with a million rank and rank guys if you want. 
the system is completely unlimited. So, so, so there is no addition. There's nothing complicated at all about it. It's that simple. It's those three little things. So first thing is, set up the industry, okay? A random industry, you can call it whatever you want because no one's ever going to log in and see it anyway. Then you're going to go to your API settings and add your Twilio details, yes? That I've just shown you how to do. Cr buy a Twilio number that's SMS enabled and put that in there with the country code. That's it. Them two things, them three things, them two things are done, sorry. Then go to your call center, add a new phone number, uh, add the phone number and divert the calls to whichever your first rank and rank guy is. Go to the leads tab, click on form builder, create a form, copy and paste this code here on the right hand side into any website anywhere in the world, whether it's HTML, whether it's Weebly, whether it's um, Wix, whether it's WordPress, doesn't matter, don't care, even, even work inside of Google Forms, uh, sorry, Google Sites, okay, because you can get to the HTML so you can paste it in and you're done. So you can use this on any type of website anywhere in the world. There's no limits, no nothing, and, and, and nothing's limited. The only time you'd ever have to upgrade your system is if you want to start using the hybrid lead generation business model. And when my friend basically said to me, I don't care about your model. I'm not interested. I'm happy doing what I'm doing. I do rank and rent. I've got tons of sites. I know that yours is better than all of these, and I'm paying $97 a month for somebody else's. <laughs> so I want yours. It's cheaper. Just tell me how to set this up when I'm done. So this is how you set it up, guys. It's that simple. Okay, I hope that helped. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers, bye bye. Hey guys, me being me, I forgot to tell you something, so I've just added it to the end rather than redoing the whole video. Click on preferences. See this little time zone here? Make sure you set the right time zone up because if you set the schedule up <laughs> and it's not in the right time zone <laughs> or the right country, then um, yeah, it's not going to work right. Obviously, you want to set your thingy, and that's only for a thingy, but yeah, you need to set your time zone up correctly, guys, otherwise the schedule's going to be wrong. So I thought I'd better add that on the end. Cheers very much. Bye-bye.